Welcome back to the Rope Access Channel. My name is Alex and in this video I will teach you how to climb with movable anchors. Let's get into it. So let's say we've been working over an opening. There's my exit, my egress or regress. I don't know, but there's my exit. I need to go there. I have this beam, I've been working down here and I need to climb alongside the beam so I can take all the gear with me. I'm gonna leave the ropes for now, but for the practice, I need to climb alongside this beam and along the way I will have a few points where I can't slide the anchors through. We could climb with beam clamps and just slide all the way through, but we're gonna climb with movable anchors and we're gonna be using steel slings for that. First things first, I need to climb up a little bit higher so I'm a bit more comfortable throwing the first one over. My foot, my hand center doesn't go any higher. Now I know that in this exercise I won't be needing my hand ascender anyway. So I just clip my foot loop in directly into the anchor point. I will store my hand ascender. Nice and neat and out of the way. Step up. Okay. Lock my descender. Manage my backup. And now I'm ready to start my eight climb. First things first, I'm gonna attach one steel strop as far as I can reach basically. And lock it off. So that's one anchor point. I will attach my cow tail to it. I need more anchor points to get going and I will be, I will be performing this eight climb while suspended from a positioning lanyard. And if I do that, I will always be in a place where I'm easy to rescue. So the person who's rescuing me doesn't have to perform any counterbalance techniques or di lift, direct lift rescues. So I'll just organize this for a second. And then continue with the exercise. So I'm gonna step up a little bit more. There we go. Now I can remove my descender, my ID. Keep my back up high. This foot loop is going permanently in my, what I would, what I like to call my front cow tail. It's my right hand, it's left hand on the camera. This will always be the first one to go. All right, I'm coming from two good anchor points, I'm gonna move over there. As we are eight climbing, I'm gonna use a second foot loop to make life a little bit easier. That second foot loop, I'm gonna connect in my second cow tail I will be using. All right, second cow tail connected. So I'm suspended on three anchor points right now. I've got one here and I've got two here, both in two steel slings. So I can take easily take my backup out. And manage that one. All right, foot in foot loop. Slide it a bit closer, like so. I'm going to shorten my foot loop a little bit. A lot of people don't take the time to do this stuff, but if you have to climb for like 20 or 30 meters underneath a platform, these are the little things that make life a lot easier. 
get your foot loops in the right length. All right, so now I can just stand up, take my positioning lanyard, clip it from this anchor point to this anchor point. I'll stand up. Here we go. That's one step. Now I'm in a great position to put in my next steel strap. And remember, like with the regular aid climb, I first need to make three anchor points before I can start moving stuff about. First, I'm gonna take my forward cow tail, click it over, and I'm on three anchor points again. One, two, and three. So I can take the rear one out. And basically, this is where we get into the real meat of a proper eight climb. All right, I've got my two anchor points. I've got one more steel strop attached to my harness, but this part I can walk over and then for that I need this third one. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stand up, hold both steel slings, stand up, move one leg, stand in my other leg, move that, stand in my left leg, move that, stand in my right leg, move that. So now you see there was fairly little effort in moving over here. My foot loops are at the right length. My positioning lanyard is exactly the right length. I chose these slings because they're nice and smooth and no sharp edges. And you can just move over. So, now I arrived at an obstruction and I need to pass it. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna tell you about the sponsor of this video. The sponsor of this video is Industrieel Klimmen, a beautiful training facility in the Netherlands, just north of Amsterdam. You can come here for all your safe working at height related training. They provide GWO training, basic fall arrest, climb training, or your IRATA training and anything in between that you can think of. There's a beautiful physical store next door where you can come and try out all the latest gear. And if you're not able to make it in person, you can always visit the web store. The link will be in the description. Like I said, I'm gonna attach my third point here. But I want to be a bit closer, so first I'm gonna move this one over to this one, so I'm directly on it. So I just stand up, click one, click two, and sit back down. I'm positioned just a bit better. Take my third steel strop, because we're pretending like these don't exist, otherwise I could use those. Throw it over. Aim it a little bit. Lock the carabiner. And I have a beautiful third point of contact possibility. So I'm in two points. I'm gonna create a third one. Move my cow tail over. Now I move this cow tail over. And I'm back on two anchor points. I can take this one out because I'm not gonna need it anymore until I get over there. go. Safe on the harness. I'll stand up. Nice and comfy. One more step done. Now I attach the third steel sling and after this I'm almost home free. I can smell the cookies. Third point of contact. Coming right up. 
take away the last one, put it in. Don't forget your gear, otherwise you're gonna have to climb back. We don't want it. Attach it to the harness. And I can just easily walk over to the container. Take out my foot loops. And I know I can just descend a little bit. And easily step onto the container. And I'm ready to leave. We have a whole safety system here. I'm gonna hook up on in a minute. But first I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please let me know in the comments. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date to the latest videos. I will see you in the next time. Stay connected.